So this is Montador. Indeed. In only 18 years, this little desert oasis has grown into quite a tourist attraction. Amazing, don't you think? Yes, it is. Some people even call it the City of Miracles. The City of Miracles? to look at here, Professor. Yes, I've heard that Montedor is quite an exciting town. The letter you received said some terrible things happened here. That's hard to believe. Hmm. We'll have a better understanding of the situation after we speak to Angela. We should be able to see her estate just past the street. I believe I have this one. Solving puzzles is truly a pleasure.
Lisa, look at that clown! And all the balloons! <laughs> and the band! This is fantastic! Everyone is having such a good time, Professor! They are. And I'm looking forward to doing the same after our investigation. Oh, right. The investigation. Once we're able to relax, we'll see what the town has to offer. Oh. Professor, what was that? Oh. Quickly! Try to escape here! Get out of the way, will you? Please, sir, try to remain calm. Calm? Are you blind? Those people have been turned to stone! How is that possible? A very good question, Luke. Professor, look up there! What on earth? One, two, three, four. Did you miss me, Montador? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome! Uh -huh. I hope you enjoyed tonight's dark miracle. Courtesy of the Masked Gentleman. Consider what you have seen tonight as a warning. Montador will soon be destroyed. Those who submit to the power of the mask may be spared. But then again, they may not. What are you waiting for? Ah. A written invitation? Of course. Wait! Professor! <laughs> Mine has something wrong with it! Let's go. Everyone follow me. Right. Yeah. 
Ya, ya. Where is he going? <coughs> Please be careful. Ya. Yeah. Look, there he is. Yes, he had quite an advantage over us. I suppose we can assume that was the masked gentleman. Was he using some sort of magic, Professor? How did he do all that? Luke, I can honestly say, I don't know. Magic seemed to be the only thing that could explain what we had seen. It disturbed me to see the professor at such a loss. It made me wish he never received that strange letter in the first place. Professor, do you know someone named Angela Lador? Angela? Yes, of course. Where did you hear that name? It was on the letter. A letter? Let me, Professor! Angela, after all these years... Here you are! Thank you very much, Luke. Very strange. What is it, Professor? Professor? The Mask of Chaos. Dearest Herschel, I trust this letter finds you well. I have read wonderful things about your work, Herschel. Or rather, Professor Layton, it's difficult to believe it has been nearly 18 years. I'm sure this letter comes as quite a surprise, but I must ask for your help. We have experienced a series of terrifying incidents here in Monte Dor. I must be cursed by the Mask of Chaos, for it is now threatening to destroy our city. I hope you can forgive me after all these years. I don't know who else I can turn to. I cannot give you the full details now. However, if you can spare the time, I shall tell you all upon your arrival. We are in desperate need of your help, Herschel. I've enclosed the address for the Lador estate. I hope to see you soon, Angela Lador. Mask of Chaos? What is that? Donald Rutledge wrote about it in his book, Ancient Histories. According to legend, 
The mask bestows great power upon whoever wears it. Yes, the allure of omnipotence is as old as mankind itself. You seem to know quite a bit about the mask, Emmy. Well, I have taken a few courses here and there. I see. Did I leave something out, Professor? No, no. You're absolutely correct. So this mask of chaos is well known in the world of archaeology? Oh, yes. Among researchers, it's quite a popular topic. So, what would it mean to be cursed by the mask of chaos? It's difficult to say. Angela certainly wasn't very forthcoming in her letter. What is your relationship with Angela, Professor? Is she one of Professor Layton's lost loves? Hardly. I've known Angela since my school days. Our relationship was... complicated. Well, a true gentleman could never refuse a request to help an old friend, right, Professor? Why, yes, Luke. I suppose you're correct there. In the letter, she refers to a series of terrifying incidents. What do you think she means by that, Professor? I can't say for certain, but I know how we can find out.
have a shot. I got it. No problem.
I'm going for it. <laughs> well, that's that.
upset? Angela. Oh, I knew he'd come. It's so wonderful to see you again, Herschel.
keep me in suspense. There is no puzzle without a solution.
keep me in suspense. There is no puzzle without a solution.
Just a dash of puzzle solving here. That was a challenge, to be sure.
Just a dash of puzzle solving here. That was a challenge to be sure. That night, we just listened to the professor. It broke my heart to hear him recount how he had lost his best friend. But hidden in his story was a clue that would prove essential to solving the case of the masked gentleman. The first I heard of the Mask of Chaos. It must have been about 18 years ago. I win again, Herschel. Guess that means you'll be going with me tonight. Randall, I told you, 
I'm not interested in archaeology. Stop with the nonsense, Herschel. What happened to your sense of adventure? You can't be serious. Yes, I'm very serious, Herschel. I'm going to make archaeological history tonight. Do you have any idea what this could mean? It'll be the find of the century, and you're coming with me. So what do you say there, old chum? You're in, right? Randall, I don't... Mm -hmm. Okay. This time will be different, Herschel. You won't regret it, I swear. I've got a good feeling about this. I've heard that one before, Randall. I don't have time to go on another one of these silly expeditions of yours. I'm telling you, this is different, Herschel. It isn't some silly adventure. I think I might be onto something big this time. Oh, really? Do tell. Something priceless. Something indescribable. Something beyond your wildest dreams, Herschel. Alright, class, you've proven your legs work. Now please exercise your backsides and be seated. Just meet me tonight. Soon our names will be in all the papers. You'll be the famous scholar Herschel Layton. Here goes. Puzzles can be quite fun. Here's my answer. Solving puzzles is what I'm best at.
Here's my answer. There is no puzzle without a solution. I'm not certain. Did I get it? Herschel and I have some important things to do. Everything looks good. We're done. Can you two wait a minute while I get my things? She's as radiant as ever. And she likes the most handsome chap in town. Too bad for you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, lady. Oh, Angela. Don't you take that from him, Herschel. Randall, is that any way to treat your best friend? Hmm? Well, I suppose I could be a little nicer. But Herschel needs to stop running away from his future in archaeology. He doesn't look like he's running away. Perhaps he's just not interested. Thank you. I think I can change that. I've got something very special to show the two of you. Ah, uh, not again. What is it now? The Mask of Chaos. Why am I not surprised? Randall, what is it about this fairy tale that has captured your imagination? Always the skeptic. <laughs> That's all right. At least I won today's fencing match, which means that tonight we do what I want to do, correct? <laughs> Eight o'clock, right, Herschel? Angela, you too. To the future <laughs> that awaits.
Here goes. Puzzles can be quite fun. Here goes. Puzzles can be quite fun.
I think this may be it. Looks as if I got it. Angela, perfect timing. Beautiful night, isn't it? Yes, it is. Randall seems to be quite single-minded lately. Yeah, that's Randall. I think his enthusiasm is one of the reasons I admire him. I suppose. But that passion makes him easily excitable. You know, you're very good for him. You keep him balanced. Is balanced the same as boring? Uh... No. Randall's lucky. We're both looking out for him. Yes, he is lucky, isn't he? He's got a kind girlfriend who's concerned about his well-being, and a loyal best friend. Ah. <laughs> You'll always look out for him, won't you, Herschel? Promise me. Yes, I promise. Hmm. I think this may be it. Looks as if I got it.
is that? The Mask of Chaos! Take a look at this. Behold! <clears throat> what is this? I don't understand. We made the trip to Monte d'Or to investigate the Mask of Chaos. There, we witnessed a terrifying sight. Civilians petrified before our very eyes. We met Angela Lador, an old friend of the professor's. We also learned of a tragic event in Professor Layton's past. I didn't get much sleep that night, but the sunrise was quite beautiful.
Please allow me. An assistant can solve a puzzle or two.
Don't move. This puppy should learn some manners. Leave that young lady alone. Get back here, now!
I believe I have this one. Solving puzzles is truly a pleasure. Ah! <laughs> 
don't, don't you sneak up on me like that! Who let a child in here? I'm no child. I'm Luke Triton, apprentice to Professor Layton. Ah, of course. Inspector Grosky. We should have known it was you. How did you get in here with all the competent police officers? Emmy, how rude. If you're not careful, you might end up hurting my feelings. Guess I'll have to turn to my arrest record as Scotland Yard to cheer me up. <laughs> and how many of those arrests came with the professor's help? About half? <laughs> yeah, I suppose that sounds about right. Good to see you too, Emmy. Professor Layton, I presume. Detective Inspector Leonard Bloom, senior detective at Scotland Yard. That's quite the title. Herschel Layton, how do you do? Wow, this must be a really big deal to dispatch two of Scotland Yard's finest. I guess so. I wonder how the local police feel about bringing in external help. How did all these people get in my briefing room? Who are these civilians? Where's my tea? Chief Sheffield, may I introduce Professor Herschel Layton? Scotland Yard has solved many difficult cases with his assistance. I assure you, any help he can offer will be invaluable to us. Alright then, just make sure he doesn't get in the way. Now, if we're done with the pleasantries, I'd like to get on with solving this case! Let's not drag this out any longer than we need to. Grab a seat and sit in it. <laughs> Bloom, the floor's all yours. <laughs> Please, if you would give me your attention, then perhaps I could help you apprehend the masked gentleman. Since you have proven yourselves to be astoundingly ineffective thus far, we've brought in some extra brain power to expose the truth behind these dark miracles. <clears throat> this masked buffoon has made four appearances. We will now dissect each one carefully.
Just a dash of puzzle solving here. That was a challenge to be sure.
please allow me. An assistant can solve a puzzle or two. I believe I have this one. An excellent puzzle.
I believe I have this one. An excellent puzzle. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. That was a challenge to be sure. Thank you. 
thought about it and... I did it! Seven, eight. No one can escape their fate. Huh? Uh, he's walking on air. How is that possible? I don't believe it. It can't be. What is he doing up there? Is this really some type of magic? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your eyes do not deceive you. Leave the deception to your local leaders. Time to wake up, Monte Dor, and get enlightened. They, they disappeared. I hope you've enjoyed tonight's dark miracle. 
I strive to please. Montedor is not long for this world. Those who prosper by the mask must also wither by it. I do hope you'll be at my next show tomorrow. Stop by Pumpkin Park if you have time. Pumpkin Park? That's the amusement park here, right? I believe so. And with that, we have advance warning of the masked gentleman's next move. Ah, and look! It's the beautiful wife of the richest man in town. Say hello to Mrs. Angela Lador. Mrs. Lador, please grace us with your presence tomorrow. I suppose you can bring Mr. Lador, if you must. How does he know me? Oh, and don't forget to tell the tourists that the town is cursed. Sorry I didn't mention that earlier. Those who stay jeopardize their lives. But those who leave risk missing the greatest show ever. My curse can be lifted if someone brings forth something to oppose my power. Perhaps another mask? But the Mask of Order is another tale of woe, isn't it? Until we meet again! The Mask of Order? Hmm. What is this Mask of Order? Is it some sort of compliment to the Mask of Chaos? Could that mean... So if we can get that mask, then we can stop the masked gentleman? Well, that's not going to be an easy task. The existence of the mask has never been verified. Is this true, Herschel? Can this other mask stop this madness? I wonder... Well, what do you think, Leighton? Here, Alphonse Dalston. What? You are suspected of crimes against the city of Montedor. We like you to come with us. You can't do this, Sheffield. I have my rights. <gasps> Henry. Huh? Uh, Henry, I knew it was you. You set me up with this stupid letter just to get me out here because you're not man enough to face me yourself, coward. As long as I live, this city will not be harmed. The rest is irrelevant.
Here's my answer. Solving puzzles is what I'm best at. I'm not certain. Did I get it? Thank you. 
I think this may be it. Looks as if I got it. all quite worked out yet, but I have decoded some of the glyphs and I'm certain that this entire wall is one big map. Have a look, Herschel. Tell me you see it. A map to where? That's the question, isn't it? But the greater question is, Herschel, do you like puzzles? I think this may be it. Looks as if I got it.
Angela! <sighs> Angela, come on now, give me the mask. You're acting like a... <sighs> there now, there's no need to cry. Everything will be fine. Just trust me. Hmm. Huh? You sound just like oh. my brother. Before he left. And he never came back, Randall. <laughs> I know I said I wouldn't do anything dangerous, but I need that mask, Angela. I'm sorry about what happened to your brother, but I'm not him. Randall, can we just drop this for now? No, Herschel, we can't. Look, Angela, I know this is hard for you, but please... Please what? Please let you go and endanger yourself while I just sit here and wait for you to never come back? I will come back, I promise. I have to do this, Angela. I can't just live in my father's shadow my entire life. I need this, and I need your help to do it. Randall... It's all right, Miss Angela. Master Randall will return. I know it. Oh, Henry, you startled me. I didn't know you were there. You needn't worry, Miss Angela. Master Randall said this would be his last expedition. Isn't that right? Uh, yes. Did you really say that, Randall? Uh, of course. This will be my last and greatest trip into the ruins. Angela, please. All right. As long as you promise not to do anything dangerous or stupid. Nothing dangerous. And Herschel here will make sure I don't do anything stupid. I need to go home. I'm exhausted. Please, be careful. Always. Henry, would you mind escorting Angela home? Not at all. So, Herschel, we're going to unearth the most important archaeological find in history. Aren't you excited? Let's go back to my place and make sure we have enough supplies. All right. I do hope you intend to keep your promise, Randall.
After finding the truth behind the masked gentleman's past miracles, we went to the gallery plaza. There, we witnessed innocent bystanders being lifted into the air before they disappeared. Within minutes, the police arrested Alphonse Dalston on suspicion of aiding the masked gentleman. Could it be that he was the mastermind behind this series of incidents? As dawn broke on our third day in Montedor, I wondered, had we come any closer to the truth?
Everybody's so excited! Looks like that will last for about another 15 seconds. There goes my yacht! That's it? I would wager that he lost his bet. I believe I have this one. An excellent puzzle. Thank you. 
I assume you still take your tea with milk, Herschel? Why, yes. Thank you, Henry. You're very welcome. I would never ask a servant to wait on an old acquaintance. You may find that a bit strange, but I hope it doesn't make you uncomfortable. Why not at all? I must say, Henry, the success and fame you've achieved here in town is quite astounding. I wouldn't call myself successful. I've just been very lucky.
I'm sorry, Herschel. It is I who should apologize. I've obviously upset your husband. No, don't worry about Henry. He gets emotional sometimes, especially concerning Randall. Understood. But I also have the feeling that Henry is hiding something. Oh, I doubt that. Henry is an open book. He always has been. I'm not so certain you know him as well as you pretend to. I beg your pardon? What do you mean by that, Herschel? Uh, I intended no offense, Angela. All will become clear in time. We will soon get to the bottom of things. Yes, well... Thank you, Herschel. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. That was a challenge to be sure.
careful. Yeah. That's the way. Yeah. Wow. Good work. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way. Good work. Yeah. Wow. Are you all right? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Luke. Yeah. Wow. That's the way. I believe I have this one. 
an excellent puzzle.
should probably hang on to your hat. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. That was a challenge to be sure.
don't keep me in suspense. There is no puzzle without a solution. about this? Puzzles are made to be solved. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. A fine puzzle for a gentleman.
Ready to embark upon the first day of the rest of your life, Herschel? Henry, is everything all set? Yes, Master Randall. The cart is loaded and should be ready for your departure. Angela! What are you doing here? Henry, is this your doing? Yes, sir. My apologies. It seemed rather important. Henry had nothing to do with it. I wasn't going to let you go without saying goodbye, Randall. I thought it'd be easier if you didn't see me go. I was going to have Henry deliver this. But since you're here... What? What is this? I can't take this. Look after it for me. You can give it back when I return. Yes. Yes, of course. Thank you, Randall. I'll see you soon, Angela. I swear. You will be careful, won't you? Naturally. When I get back, we can have that picnic on the hill. How does that sound? Well, we'd better be off before my father spots us. Next stop, Aquadine. Goodbye. Please don't worry, Miss Angela. Master Randall has a remarkable mind. He'll find what he seeks and return soon. I hope you're right, Henry. I'm certain of it. You really think the ruins are here? They're here. I know they are. How on earth are we supposed to get down there? You promised Angela we weren't going to do anything dangerous. I know what I said, Herschel. What about no risk, no glory? This is the chance of a lifetime. And we must seize this opportunity while we have it. Randall, this is... I'm not interested in talking anymore. I've worked so hard for this. You can go back home if you must. But Herschel, I can't do this alone. All right, Randall. Let's go.
I'm not certain. Did I get it? Here's my answer. There is no puzzle without a solution.
Hang on, Herschel. Randall, look out! Good. Ah! Randall! Are you all right? Yeah. I'm not certain. Did I get it? Uh. Huh. Should have thought of that sooner.
exciting! Just leave it to me! Here's my answer. Solving puzzles is what I'm best at.
think this may be it. Looks as if I got it. Here goes. Puzzles can be quite fun.
Here's my answer. Solving puzzles is what I'm best at.
fighting! Just leave it to me!
We've made it! Herschel, there's the door! I'm sorry, Herschel. I let you down. Tell Angela I'm sorry. I can't pull you up. Now give me your other hand. Take the mask. It's yours. You must solve the last puzzle, Herschel. <laughs> Here.
Randall, I'm... I'm leaving Stansbury. No more Azran. No more masks. It's too much for me. I'll never forget you. I just need some distance from all this. Herschel, are you ready? Almost. I just need a minute. Of course, dear. The carriage is ready when you are. Thank you. Hello, Randall. I solved the last puzzle. The treasure was there, just as you said it would be. The discovery that would have made you famous. I told no one of it. It shall forever remain our secret. Here is what you sacrificed your life for. It's yours. We made our way to Pumpkin Park, where the masked gentleman was set to perform his next miracle. It happened so quickly, and right before our eyes, everyone in the park had vanished. The masked gentleman then announced that his final miracle would be visible all over town, and then he disappeared. The stage is set for the masked gentleman to unveil his final act.
Just a dash of puzzle solving here. A fine puzzle for a gentleman.
I believe I have this one. An excellent puzzle.
It looks more like a castle out of a fairy tale than a hotel. Professor, how will we ever find the masked gentleman hiding inside of that place? One room at a time, I suppose. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. That was a challenge to be sure.
please allow me. An assistant can solve a puzzle or two. A shot. I'm the professor's apprentice.
I believe I have this one. An excellent puzzle. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. That was a challenge to be sure.
it's here. I know it is. Enter. You still haven't found it, you incompetent fool. The mask is inside the hotel. Sir, please accept my apologies. Oh well, as long as you're sorry, I suppose everything is fine. Get the mask. We will find it, sir. The Garden of Healing. The City of Harmony. We have two of the three. Which is just another way of saying we have nothing, isn't it? I believe I have this one. An excellent puzzle.
this look into my world, Layton. I've left you one final puzzle, so that you may save your little friend. It looks as if he's in quite a predicament, and so high up. Oh my. Is it true, Layton? I've heard you have a history of letting your friends down. I suppose I won't be needing this anymore. <laughs> it pains me to see you like this, Randall. Randall? <gasps> but how? <laughs> well, isn't this quite the reunion? Now, my revenge is at hand. Master Randall? Is that really you? It is, unfortunately for you. I have returned to take back everything you stole from me. The Azran treasure, my family fortune, and my Angela. Henry, you will know the pain I have felt all these years. Randall, no! It's not like that! Master Randall, please! You've got it all wrong. Let me explain. Oh, I would love to, but unfortunately, I'm not interested in your explanations. You could at least tell us where you've been all these years. Well, all right. Why not? What good is an untold tale? I first explored the ruins of Akbadai nearly 18 years ago. I was only a few steps from unlocking its secrets before I fell victim to one of its many cunning traps. I fell into a deep ravine, where I could have died, but as fate would have it, an underground river broke my fall. The current washed me onto the banks of a remote village. The villagers nursed me back to health. I made a full recovery, but I could not tell the villagers anything about myself. My mind was a blank. You... you had amnesia? I worked in the village while I tried to recover my memory. Months went by. Years went by. And eventually I gave up on trying to unearth my old life. Then one day, I received a letter. I know all about your past, it read. I know who took everything from you, and I know how to get it all back. The letter recounted my life in great detail, and it said that the one who had betrayed me was a man named Henry. When I read that name, it was as though someone had turned a key in my mind. Everything came flooding back. I remembered all that I had, and all that had been taken from me. But the letter didn't end there. I have a plan to take revenge on those who have wronged you. 
You need only to don the garb of the masked gentleman, and they shall cower before you. So it was decided. I would have my revenge by taking back what was mine. And the letters continued, each one advising me on how to execute my plan as the masked gentleman. As each phase of my plan fell into place, I felt myself returning with it. The masked gentleman brought me back. The letters! Professor, do you think... I fear the worst, Luke. This closes my tale of woe. However, we still have a few tears to shed. Henry, you shall bear witness as I ruin you, just as you ruined me. Master Randall, wait! <laughs> I'm so delighted you all could make it. Randall, <gasps> this is madness. Come down from there. Take a final look around. Henry, you stole everything from me. I treated you like a brother, and this is my reward? Allow me to return the favor. <gasps> the destruction of Monte Dor shall be my final dark miracle! <laughs> Randall, no! <laughs> What's this? Sand! All that about destroying the town. He's trying to bury us in sand! We need to get out of here, Professor!
How about this? Are made to be solved. They are united. The bearers of chaos and order shall come. The Mosque of Order has been right here all this time. How about this? Well, not bad.
What is happening? Behold, Randall, the secret of the Azra. I discovered it while you were busy seeking revenge. This ends here. What was that? What happened? Amazing! Is everyone okay? This is the true treasure of the Azran. The riddle we could not have solved 18 years ago, Randall. We were distracted by tales of fortune, while the most valuable archaeological find lay elsewhere all along. You did it! You solved the puzzle of Akbadine. Spectacular. I must hand it to you, Herschel. There is no puzzle without a solution. You taught me that, Randall. Archaeology was nothing more than a passing fancy for you. And still you unearthed all of this. Incredible. I had some help. Randall, are you all right? Your skill has magnified my own faults. Even in revenge, I am a failure. Nonsense. The important thing is that you're with us now. Master Randall. Stay away from me! You stole everything from me! Everything! That's not true. You still don't see? Henry took nothing from you, Randall. You were used. Used? What are you talking about? Everything you were told in those letters was a lie. What do you mean? The police thought there was someone behind the masked gentleman. They were right. Randall here was merely a puppet. There was someone behind the mask pulling the strings all along. And that person is you! <gasps> hmm. I wish I could say it's been a pleasure, Descolé. <laughs> well played, Rick. Well played. Descolé? Then where's Angela? I found Angela trapped in a room at the Reunion Inn. Where is she now? Right here. I asked her to wear a costume while we played Descolet's little game. I see. You pretended to be taken in by my Angela disguise until I helped you solve the riddle of Akbadine. You knew that you needed my help if you were to solve that final puzzle. Very good, Descolet. I knew I never should have used this has-been bumpkin. I can't believe what I've done. You're pitiful, Ascot. I gave you back your life and you failed. And later, you must tell me. How did you know? When I first arrived here, I spoke to the real Angela. But I definitely sensed a great unease within her. 
Angela had suspected Randall of being the masked gentleman all along. That was why she wrote me the letter. She was hoping that I would get to Randall before the police did. She thought that if I confronted Randall, I might be able to get through to him. Yes, go on. Despite our history, Angela wasn't sure what I would do if I discovered that Randall was the masked gentleman. But the next time I saw her, there was something different about her demeanor. Her unease had disappeared. And from that moment, I began to suspect Angela. Perhaps I was too eager. You gave yourself away when you asked for the Mask of Order to solve the riddle of Ockbadai. When I heard of Henry's mask, I needed to find someone to play the masked gentleman. Randall obliged. I had to convince Henry of the power of the Mask of Chaos with our dark miracles. I love that name, don't you? If Henry believed that the Mask of Order could counteract the powers of the Masked Gentleman, well then, surely he would procure this mask rather than watch his dear city crumble, yes? But when he did not, you grew tired of waiting. You became Angela so that you could get closer to Henry. But Henry still wouldn't reveal the location of the Mask of Order. And he couldn't because he never had the Mask of Order in the first place. Bravo, mate. But I'm afraid all of the deductive reasoning in the world won't change the fact that I've already won. You've actually done my work for me. What do you mean? This has been a pleasure. Many thanks, Slater. <laughs> Until next time. Hmm. All that time, he was using me? I feel like such a fool. Oh, Randall. Angela. I can hardly believe it. I've been waiting so long for your return. How dare you? You never waited for me. You married Henry. It's not... Traitors! <sighs> After everything I've done for you, Henry, you betray me like this? You stole my ideas and my research. And if that wasn't enough, you stole my love. You couldn't be more wrong, Randall. Henry has been preparing. Preparing for the day you would return home. When I would return? What does that mean? Randall, you should know the truth about Montedor. We have something to tell you. Now, just leave me alone, all of you! Randall, when you disappeared, we didn't know if you'd ever return. We were destroyed. All of us. Your parents took it especially hard, of course. Their businesses failed, and the Ascot House fell into disrepair. All that time, Henry risked his life as he searched for you down in those ruins, but to no avail. In a strange twist of fate, he found the Azran treasure you were searching for all those years ago. Henry supported your parents with his newfound wealth, but he could not truly replace what they had lost. So he did what he could. He worked hard to build Monte d'Or, and he cared for your parents as if they were his own. You... Henry, is this true? It is, Randall. Henry never stopped searching for you. He always believed that you would return someday. He spent a fortune sending search parties down into those awful ruins. He built the Reunion Inn so that they would have a base near the ruins. The Reunion Inn? I believe that was the first building established here in Monte d'Or. Out here, in the middle of nowhere, the Reunion Inn thrived. That was quite a miracle, if you ask me. 
not one without a rational explanation behind it. And what was that? Henry announced several rewards for anyone who could find the man named Randall. These rewards were so large that word spread quickly and the Reunion Inn became a popular haunt. From there, the town prospered. Hotels and shops cropped up everywhere. A thriving city bloomed here in the desert. And Monte Dor became the city we know today. I... I can't believe it. One might say that Monte Dor is built around the idea of your return, Randall. My return? And that is the true miracle behind the city of Monte Dor. I... I don't know what to say. Randall, it appeared as if Henry had stolen your family and your fortune. Nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, he spent his entire life preserving all that was yours. But Angela... Is... is that my... Randall, my marriage to Henry wasn't real. What? After I lost you, Randall, I didn't know how to go on. My parents kept pressing me to get married. They wanted me to marry the richest man in town, Alphonse Dorsten. I had given up so completely by that time that I probably would have agreed just so that they would leave me alone. But then Henry asked me. I'll never forget it. He said, Will you wait for Master Randall with me? Henry always believed you would come back. He helped me believe, too. So we agreed to pretend to be married until the day you returned, Randall. Henry vowed that he would protect and preserve everything of yours. Henry never took anything from you. He protected everything for you. Can it be? Randall? Mother! Can it be? Randall! Oh, if it wasn't for Henry, I don't know what would have happened to me. He took such good care of me, Randall. I understand. Oh, Mother, I thought I'd never see you again. Randall, I believe this is yours. This document is proof of ownership for all properties attributed to the Lador family. It reveals that the Lador family fortune is in fact fully owned by a third party. Third party? All of the land and money attributed to the Lador's is actually in the name of Randall Ascot. How can this be? Henry created a replica of the Mask of Chaos, but not to steal the glory that ought to have been yours. It was the symbol of Monte Dor, a beacon that would draw your attention wherever you were. Henry assumed you would seek out someone claiming to have the Mask of Chaos when you came back. His assumption was correct, but when the masked gentleman appeared, it was clear the police would come asking questions. Angela acted fast. She knew that if the police investigated Henry's mask, they would discover it was a fake. So she hid the mask and claimed it had been stolen in order to preserve the symbol of Monte Dor's prosperity. And also to keep Henry's beacon alive. Randall, do you still feel that Henry has taken something from you? What have I done? You weren't yourself. And now that you are, and back here with us, everything is going to be okay. Henry. 
this was the true miracle all along. An aftershock! Rondo! I'm sorry, Herschel. I let you down. I can't pull you up! Now give me your other hand! You can let me go now, Herschel. Randall! You must... Just give me your other hand, Randall! I can't. I've betrayed so many people. I'll never forgive myself. I don't deserve to live. Let me go. Randall, I can't! Henry! Master Randall, after all these years, there's no... There's no way... I'm letting you get away from us that easily. Henry. I'm so ashamed of what I've done. And I don't deserve your kindness or your forgiveness. But why? Why would you do all this for me? Master Randall, do you really not know? You've always looked out for me. That's young Master Randall's toy, not yours. You remember your place. Give that back this instant. Honestly, Henry, I don't know what you're thinking. Is this how you were taught? Are you some sort of common thief? I have half a mind to report you to the master of the house. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I just wanted to play with it. Oh, hello. Sorry to disturb you, young Master Randall. Why did you take Henry's toy? Huh? Young Master Randall, I think you're mistaken. This is yours. Mm. Oh. No, this is the robot that I gave to Henry. Now then, if you'll excuse oh. us. Oh. What I have half a doing? mind to report you to the master of the house. Oh, all right, I'm going. Hmm. Oh. Master Randall, can you please forgive me for playing with your toy? Henry, it's yours now. But it's your favorite. Uh, well, now it's your favorite. How many toys does one boy need, anyway? Come on, we're going on an adventure today. Thank you, Master Randall. I promise to take care of it and always treasure it. Oh. Let's find some more treasure. What do you say? Hmm. You taught me something invaluable that day, Master Randall. And gave me something to treasure. You treated me not just as an equal, Randall, but also as a brother. And that has always meant more to me than any amount of riches ever could. As the years went by, it became clear to me that our friendship was my most valuable treasure. I'm speechless. There's nothing more to say, Master Randall. We all knew you would return. We just didn't think you'd take so long. Henry. Oh, I'm so sorry. No more apologies. Welcome home. Welcome home. Henry. Angela. Home. This was a picture-perfect ending. Everything seems to have turned out for the best. Agreed. But I still have several questions about the Aswan civilization, Professor. I mean, how were they able to build all those structures that were below Montador? Indeed. I was wondering that myself. The Osrung 
were much more advanced than I'd suspected. Who were the Osron? Know what, Professor? Henry turned out to be an amazing person. He waited so long for his friend to return home, and everything he built all those years was for Randall. It was all quite miraculous. The greatest achievement is often the one that is the most selfless. What other city can claim that it was built on a foundation of loyalty and friendship? None that I know of. Quite fitting. It truly is the City of Miracles. So then it has come to pass, and we shall see if the Azran were worth my trouble. I have sacrificed everything for this moment. Master, you've done it. Behold, the Nautilus Chamber of Arkbadine. It's quite beautiful, wouldn't you say? Huh? Hold your ground. It is perfect weather for a day of world domination. Trespassers, this site is now controlled by Targent. Do we go quietly? These cowards are not in charge here. You are not recognized as any type of authority. And you disgust me with your demented worldview. I will not let you steal that which I have earned! Do this! You have no right! No contrary, my boy. Actually, I have every right. Now, let's just have a look. <laughs> He's of no concern. Forget him. Secure the last of the Azran ruins. Years of work. Well worth it. Well worth it. Miss Hallery's Garden of Healing. Ambrosia, the City of Harmony. And now, the Nautilus Chamber of Akbadine. We finally have all three of the great legacies. And when I'm finished, the power of the Azran civilization shall be ours. <laughs>